Hello, hello, hello to even Diamond Stars, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Femininity with Mama Gail. Today, let's talk a little bit about healing from the inside. A lot of us are carrying wounded feminine energy. It's not that we have not worked on ourselves. It's not that we are not feminine. It's not that we are not radiant and beautiful, but we find ourselves either not being able to attract a gentleman, a masculine man, the right type of man that we are looking for, or we find ourselves attracting the gentleman and not being able to keep him. And the reason is for some of us, not all of us, well, maybe, let me say this also. Some of us are learning about femininity, but we're not transforming into feminine women. Women, we are dressed, we smell, we look, we adore, we are adorned, we have the appearance of, and we're learning about, but we're not transforming into becoming. So it taps right into this as well. And then there are uh, those of us who have, you know, we are just feminine, we're soft, we're sweet, we're gentle, we're generous, we're kind, you know, we're compassionate and things of that nature. We have have boundaries and standards and we know how to stand up for ourselves in a respectful dignified you know way and things of that nature but when we get a gentleman or when a gentleman sees us we have this wall up that says I don't trust you I'm not going to be vulnerable to you I'm not open to receive anything from you you get the gentleman and you have the wall up and he senses and he smells she's not open to receive I'm a masculine man I'm a giver by nature you know I want to be able to give I want to her to trust me I want her to get to know me not hold on to what bra man did to her in the past and bring it into our relationship. She's not carrying baggage. This is someone that I want to build on and have a committed relationship with. But you are so wounded and broken and hurt and scarred and unforgiving and revengeful of the things that happened to you in the past with your beautiful, feminine, cute self, but you're allowing what happened to you, you holding on to it, not to allow you to become who it is that you appear and represent yourself to be. You are broken and damaged within because you have not dealt with what happened and why it happened. And the why it happened may be none of your business, but you still need to acknowledge it, that it happened to you. And in that acknowledgement, we acknowledge, I'm broken, this is what happened, this is why, but I'm not going to take this into who I am and who I am becoming, because I'm no longer attracting this type of gentleman, man, person anymore. If he's not flowing, or she's not flowing in feminine I mean, in masculine energy, I am not attracted. I don't want what I've had before. So when you deal with and you acknowledge what it is in you, the pain, I got ghosted, I got breadcrumb. Who's to say he's not going to do this? All men are men. Men have the same agenda. Men are going to do, you have this negativity about men. So you keep your wall up, you keep your guard up. You're not inviting, you're not alluring, you're not trusting, you're not open to receive. And in that, you pull straight out your feminine beauty, and you tap into the masculine look, bag of tricks, and you repel a man. He won't come near you. He won't come close to you. He won't approach you because you don't look approachable. He won't stay with you when you meet him, when you're in a dating phase because he sees things about you that are not feminine or feminine traits or feminine characteristics. You have to acknowledge it. 
You have to heal from it. You have to be disciplined enough to know that I'm not going to take this into who I am, who I have become, who I am becoming. And if you're learning and have not transformed into, you have to deal with. I can't be fake about this because I'm going to be found out. In the learning, I have to transform and learn to trust and learn to be vulnerable and be open to receive. And after you acknowledge it and after you get the discipline that you need, then you release it. Let it go. If you go on a date with a gentleman and he does not call you in three days, don't be controlling. That controlling, manipulative, that that I have to have this my way, this wall up. I refuse to be vulnerable. It's very unattractive. It's distasteful. Men are, masculine men are not attracted to that. You will lose him. You will repel him. And even if it's not about a him, it's about a workplace. It's about a sorority. It's about you being a part of an organization because you're still hurt from Girls in the past, ladies in the past who were jealous of you and envious of you. Now you're in this new place, new environment, and you're bringing that negative energy, that competitive energy into a place where you should be open to receive from your sisters, from feminine women who genuinely have your best interests at heart. But because you're used to the brokenness, the wounded, the scars, you're flowing in this wounded feminine energy. It's not that you're not feminine, you're just wounded and you bring the wounds, the brokenness and the scars into your femininity. And each time you do, it's causing people to see you as looking like who you are, but then you transform and you become or you pull out of your bag of tricks back into the masculine. And it's a turn off, it's unattractive, you lose. Because you refuse to be vulnerable, open to receive, relaxed. And it's not to say that you can't stand your ground and have standards. But you have to flow in feminine presence, beauty, confidence, security. And as you show that and it shines through you, this is what attracted him to you. This is what you have to be. You need to be in order to keep him, in order to stay a part of the, the girls group, to be comfortable, to grow and become someone new in this organization, this workplace, this sorority, whatever it is, you have to heal. There is such thing. You can be feminine. You're flowing. You're radiant. You're attractive. You're beautiful. You're alluring. You're adorable. You're soft. You're sweet. But you are wounded. And that wounded feminine energy is destroying you. Because you won't deal with and let go of the masculine bag of tricks. Be open to receive. Relax. Trust this gentleman is not Joe Blow from the past. If you have the right and you're attracting the right type of masculine man, he wants something. But he can get what you're offering a dime a dozen in a masculine woman. If you represent femininity and you say you're feminine, be feminine, heal, deal with your issues, get in meditation, acknowledge that you are broken, acknowledge that you are hurting, wounded, and scarred, heal, be disciplined, don't bring that same activity, those same motives, manipulative tactics, and controlling, you know, mindset and emotions into a new space, place of being who you are in a relationship and your new group of friends, sororities. Be somebody different. And then you have to learn to release it. Let it go. Forgive whoever it is that did whatever. You're a new person. 
You are not even flowing in that energy. You don't give time or attention to that same type of person, those same type of people, that same type of atmosphere. You have become soft and sweet, positive. Let go of the negative. Let go of the negative energy. Let go of the negative past. Let go of who ghosted you, who breadcrumbed you, who hurt you, who walked over you. And flow. Be inviting. Be relaxed. Be receptive. Be open to receive or you will block your blessing and lose the very thing that you should be attracting. Heal from the inside. This is why we must heal from the inside. Unless you'll continue to flow in wounded feminine energy. This is Femininity with Mama Gail. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a blessed and prosperous day, Davis Diamond Styles, ladies and gentlemen.